everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yosa Boho with Hello. Irv. Today we are out and about and we stopped at the Goodwill over in Cuyahoga Falls. And we're going to go in here and see if we can find anything. What are you going to look for? My usual stuff. Your usual stuff. And clothes for myself. Oh yeah, you're still hunting for clothes. Still hunting for clothes. All right, cool. Let's go see what they have. Let's do this. Well, they came in and there's some carts and look what's on the top of this cart. Oh my gosh. That's like a craftsman style stained glass. Holy moly. Oh yeah, we're gonna grab that for sure. That may even go in my house. That's crazy good. Now we're checking out the other cart. I like this guy. He's got a little dent in his book. I like this frame, but it's really heavy and it's only resin. But this was down on the bottom here. Look at this. This is made in China. But look at the scene on here. I think we're in heaven. I think those are cows with wings. We have peaches and raspberries and all kinds of flying creatures. I don't know what's going on. It's just pretty delightful for $1.25. It's not in the greatest condition. It looks a little, you could see there, it's a little bashed, but it's pretty great. I'm still so excited about that. I think that's it for the cart over there. I guess I could go to the other side just to make sure and check out up here. Looks like we got a light up nativity thing. Um, maybe that doesn't have, oh, it's a music box. So that doesn't have the cord. We have a Sergeant Pepper's Beatles mug, 2016. $3. I don't think that's worth $3. Yeah, I think that's probably it for this cart. Let's see what's on the shelves. See this pretty girl. What's she doing? Oh, she's a music box too. She's plastic. Here's a radish for your garden. Mm -hmm. I see a clown back there. We're just ignoring him. Some little trash baskets up here. Sometimes those can be worth money if they're vintage. Just keep an eye out for those. You look like a what? Coach. You look like a coach. If I, okay, if I got, if I wear this and wear these pants, I look like the Ohio State head coach. Yeah, or you look like, um, who's the guy from the insurance? <laughs> oh, Jake. 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 Jake at State Farm. Jake at State Farm. <laughs> Jake at Ohio State. <laughs> I'm checking out glasses and mugs. They don't have as many mugs here as they usually do. I'm a little sad about this. So I found these down here. Look at these little shot glasses, mid-century, kind of atomic, but all the gold's coming off. Oh, that's sad. There was one in here out of the four that still had the gold. It's a really cool looking shot glass. Mid-century modern barware is something that I'll always grab because it sells good. In the mugs, I thought this was pretty funny, especially since we have a dog that we joke about being tough. <laughs> I like this. I looked it up. There's no real value here. Just like the graphics. That's about it for the mugs. 
Oh, what's this pretty green over here? That's an older piece. Look at that pretty green on that. $2 is a good price. I don't know if it's marked underneath there. Kind of like it. All right, we'll think about it. See a couple of cobalt vases, but nothing special. My mom's cobalt collection is gotta be special. What's going on up here? Always missing a hand. And there's something else missing here. That's something I would have definitely looked up. He wasn't damaged. Those are kind of cool. Made in the Philippines. Turn around and check out the shelves behind me. Browns, bronzes. She's kind of cute. She's resin. The music today is not as blaring as it usually is. Oh, here's a nativity, just like one I just listed. The one I listed is in a box. Oh, the colors on this one are crazy. These are mid-century, made in Italy. They're usually marked either on the back. I don't know what that says. Oh, somebody sold it for 50 cents. Probably hit a yard sale. Um, yeah, made in Italy. So they have $4 on it. I think I listed mine for just under 50. I think I'll list this one without the box for 38 or 40. It's 10 times my money. I do really well with nativities. <laughs> what is going on with this mug? Love you more. Okay. <laughs> it's a buttonhole attachment. That's older. still have Easter stuff out here because we're like the day before Easter oh this girl this is the Pillsbury dough people I think this is poppy fresh 1970 I think that says yeah she's not really worth picking up on her own maybe eight to ten dollars but if you can get a bunch of them which I have I've had a big like family of them. If you can find the dog, I think the dog was uh, kind of a big deal if you had the whole family plus the dog. Oh, he's cute. What is he? Just a little hand painted decoration. He's neat. Heritage house. That's pretty. It's a nice quality. It's a music box. We don't need it. What are all these little people in here? Oh, they look like they're just kind of poorly painted characters, probably made in China, yeah, made in China. Spooky. They're kind of fun. Oh, and we have a pumpkin spatula. Oh, I see some nativity stuff. Is this Italian? Nope. Made in China stickers. Never mind. He's kind of cute. I don't normally like the nutcrackers, but he's a cute little bear. Made in China. All right, I have a question about this. So they had part of a fire set over there. I know you have something similar, but do we want another one for the camper? It's a nice forged piece. I like the one Marty. Well, Marty yeah, we our neighbor custom made us one, but do we want a backup? I don't think necessary. Okay, so we'll put that back. I just found this. This is kind of cool. 
Look at the design of this. Maybe we it's can a... give it to somebody. Who Just needs one? It. I don't know. Maybe give it to a fellow camper or something. A fellow camper? I like the idea of having it as a backup and then giving it to somebody though. So Just gifting it to a new um, a new friend when we're camping. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. This I just found in here. Um, it's a garment drying tray, but it's a Michael Graves design. Looks like that when you open it up. And it looks like you can have like two stacked if you had two of them. There's only one here that I see. There's none listed. There's one sold. It sold for about $18. Um, I don't know. I feel like I would list mine for between 20 and 25. It's very unique. I guarantee it's almost impossible to find. So maybe the person that bought the last one is looking for another one. Never you know. never know. Well, I just spotted this tin. Look at this tin. Oh, it's got stuff in it. Hold on. Oh, it's got thank you cards in it. I always look for thank you cards. What else is in here? Cat cards? Yes, please. Anything else? Just cards and envelopes. I see some stickers down. I see little kitty stickers down in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yes. We're going to get that. We're going to get that. $2. We're going to get that. We found the loud music back here. First cute little shadow box here, but look at this print. How fun is that? It's definitely older. It's got some foxing there. We're not gonna pick it up. I just wanted to show her off. So sweet. Y'all, look at this guy. <laughs> I just have to share him. We were coming down the aisle, heading out towards the front and somebody did him. He's a hobbyist piece, but look at how good they did. Who made him? Mary in 1970. Mary, you did a good job. He's got a little, little doink right there. It wouldn't take much to put a little bit of paint on him, but oh, I don't need him. I don't need him. How much is he? Two dollars. Somebody's gonna grab him. He's too cute. It's too bad he doesn't have a slit in his head. He would make a nice bank. Oh, somebody will get you, guy. I promise. So we're coming down through here, and of course, I was just checking my size stuff. This popped out to me. I love this. Look at this. It's like an all-over print um, bumblebee. So I can't wear this. It's too short. Oh, you're going to wear it? Yeah. It's too uh, short for us. So it's an XXL. It's women's. Um, I looked up this LA Soul, and they do have a different B print that some of them are listed pretty high, and most of them sell for between $20 and $25. But I did not see this B print anywhere so i think i'm gonna grab this their long sleeve shirts are 484 i think i'm gonna grab it and list it for like i don't know 30 30 bucks it's very cool and i it doesn't have tags on it but it's very crispy i don't think it's been worn or washed then i just spotted this does that not look like me that's you it's got a cowl neck oh my gosh Look at how pretty that is. That's really cool. It's in a really great material, like a slinky. Oh yeah, that's 100% me. It's new with tags. Croft and Barrow, I just saw the tag. How much was it new? I don't know, let's see. 40, 40 bucks. You better jump on that. I'm getting that. <laughs> jump on that. I'm getting that. Maybe the same person donated both of those. Did they donate anything else? Good stuff. All right, we gotta move. We gotta move along. We got grocery shopping to do. All right, apparently we weren't done clothes shopping because <laughs> I got to the end here and look at this beautiful Chico's. I love the design on this. It has this kind of angled, right here you can see this angled piece that comes up across. And then look at the back. Isn't that pretty? I tried it on and we decided that it was coming with us too. So I got two tops and I'll sell one. Maybe what the one I sell will pay for the ones that I don't sell. <laughs> yep. That was a good stop in. My lampshade. Oh my gosh. 
That's awesome. That craftsman style stained glass. Mm, if I sell it, it well, might have to be in our house. Well, you just have to find the right buyer. Um, I might be the right buyer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a beautiful craftsman style stained glass piece. I was happy to pay $15 for it. We spent 60 oh i have the receipt right here hold on we spent 62 dollars and three cents and it's double, double points, points day. day yeah so we got credit for twice which means we got two coupons that's awesome i was out of coupons so that's why we had to pay full price but that was fine we got good deals today and that lamp shade was everything that was worth the stop in and you found a shirt no, that Ohio makes State you shirt. that makes you look like Jake. <laughs> the State Farm. State stuff. Farm Jake. Um, yeah, that was good. We found some other good stuff. And I found three pieces of clothes on the way out. One that I'm going to list. Two of them have never been worn. I know. That was good. One has tags. One, Yeah, the one blouse that I looked at, immediately both of us were like, yeah, that's you. With the cowl neck, the floral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yay, happy stop in. I think we're going to go up the road and do some shopping. Maybe we'll hit somewhere else uh, later, but that'll probably be in another video. So, until next time, please take care. Take care of yourself and each other. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.